proving statements is not only reserved to mathematics students. We also encounter this type of questions in mathematics books and exams for engineering students. For example, in courses in linear algebra or calculus. You do have a problem here too. So if you write down your own proof or solution of such a question, how do you know whether your answer is correct? The answer is not some number, factor, matrix or function anymore, which can be relatively easy corrected, but a sequence of statements. And the sequence is not unique at all, there are so many correct solutions. So a given correct work solution will not help you that much to judge whether your own solution is correct. Your solution will probably be different, of course. There are so many options here. But how can you see whether your solution is correct too? Well, that's the aim of the success of these videos. We'll see how this works in this video, uh, how this idea and how this is intended to work. So, you often have questions like prove or disprove the following statement using the relevant definitions or something similar. In this video, we'll introduce some correction model. How can you check whether your own solution is correct? And I will also provide, of course, a correct solution as I would uh, give it. Um, so first of all, why is in the question uh, the statement uh, prove this prove the statement using the relevant definitions? Uh, why only the definitions and not, for example, theorems? Well, I formulate it like this because if you can also use theorems, well, there are so many possible solutions. I can never uh, make a correction model which uh, encompasses all possible correct solutions. So we have to limit the questions here a bit. We have to, uh, 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 otherwise it would be completely possible to give you all uh, correct answers to the particular question. So that's why you can only use definitions, so start out with definitions. And second statement, well often if you have to prove some statements in an exam or in an uh, uh, exercise in a book, it is by itself already a theorem. So if you uh, could use a theorem, then the answer to that question could just be, well, it is a theorem from the book. And that's a bit silly. So that's why it's explicitly stated in the question already uh, that we will only use uh, definitions or if you use theorems, we will use uh, we will state which theorem to use. Uh, that was the general structure of the videos. Uh, first of all, uh, I will always give some uh, common errors or incorrect solutions. Those worked examples are typically uh, also uh, exam questions from exams from previous years. So in those, uh, while correcting, I saw uh, quite some uh, common errors. So uh, that's the first part. So you don't do that, that's the idea. And part B, I will give you the key ingredients to uh, get the correct solution. So what's the advised workflow? Of course, you can skip immediately to my correct solution, but well, I don't think you learn that much from it. What would be way more useful is first uh, make your own solution of the problem. Then second step, uh, watch the video. And then, uh, with this video, review your own solution critically. Take a critical look at your own solution to see uh, what you yourself have is also a correct solution of the problem.